Give it up. You can start now. I know. Good afternoon, everyone. So, do you guys know how many motorbikes are there in Vietnam right now? So, it is recorded that there are over 15 million of them currently in Vietnam right now. So, as a usual rider like me, I cannot count how many times my motorbike got broken in the middle of the road due to various of problems. So, I think that many people in this room have suffered the same issues as I did. And when, and also I also suffer something like when I take my motorbike into maintaining or fixing them, I don't know how long it will take or how much it will cost. So, here to solve the problem, introducing Fixito. So, Fixito, which stands for Fixed Safe Toy, is an online application that offers you an affordable and professional vehicle repairing and maintaining experience. So unlike other um, emergency vehicle rescue services, such as Lutheri or Rada, we consider ourselves as the middle guy that connect user and repair men and help them save their time and money and enjoy high quality service. So basically, there are two main functions in our app. The first one is called the SOS function. So in case your motorbike is totally broken, this function will help you suggest a list of repairing places includes free vendors and an um, off-by store and show you the detailed directions to get to the place, which means you don't have to worry about where to go. Another function is temporarily called the maintenance function. So in case you can book the, the maintenance service for your motorbike in advance, so that when you take your motorbike to your store, you do not have to wait. And you can also keep track of the maintaining process so both functions are integrated with the rating and review system, which means you can check on the credibility of the store. So by the unfair advantage, we are confident to be the first mover in the market, and we believe that we can bring our users a helpful platform as well as our partner an opportunity to attract new customers. It is more than a service, we aim to sell them the trust. So for the target customer, our target customer will be young Vietnamese rider aging from 18 to 35 years old. They are living in Ho Chi Minh City. They are smartphone users and they are using motorbike as a main means of transportation. So for the market research, we have found that three is the average number of vehicles per family. And by June 2019, Ho Chi Minh City already got 8.9 million registered motorbikes. So before taking any further steps, we have conducted a survey on 100 people, and here's what we got. 75% in the number of people got into trouble with their vehicle at least one in the middle of the street, and two to three is the average time that people have their vehicle maintenance per year, and for each maintenance process, they have to spend at least three hours. Um, so with that amount of motorbike and the frequency of maintenance process, we have great potential to get huge revenue because the market size is significant. So in terms of finance, we will have two main revenue streams. The first one is a 50% commission of each transaction via our booking system. And the second revenue stream will come from advertising. So we will Focus on IT infrastructure, we will always take 20% of the overall cost. And here is the other thing that we have to consider. So for the fundraising plan, we have estimated different amount of money for different phase of our product launch. So for the marketing strategy, we are aiming toward B2B and B2C. So we aim toward the touch point that they are going through with different channels. For as B2C, we are using the social medias and content videos to attract them. Or for B2B, with similar touch point, we'll be using different channels such as display ads on magazine and e-news. E for stakeholders, we considering our customer and the repair shop as well as treat vendor as our main stakeholders and the other considered as vehicle insurance company as well. So in order to measure the success of our company, we've divided it into tangible and intangible metrics. For the tangible one, we'll count on the number of app installations, number of booking, rating and review, and for the intangible one, 
we will measure our users' emotion and satisfaction as well as our company reputation. So everyone, um, have a great. Thank you so much. Your presentation time is over. Thank you, Dipi.